Warning, this video is intended for a mature audience. You understand? Viewer discretion is advised. Yay! <laughs> All right, this is Billy Bob Tanley here, people, and this is a request from King Dismal, and it was uploaded by Clement J64. And the name of this video is "Let's Review Sonic 06 Part 2." Okay, let's check it out. Yay! Hello, hi everybody. Welcome to Part 2 of the Sonic 06. Here we video. go. It's torture. I'm feeling a lot better. I am now heavily medicated on lots hey, of pills. Hey, what the fuck? So don't be doing I that promise shit. not to scream uncontrollably anymore so that I destroy the microphone and hurt your ears. Damn, I also man. promise Disclaimer, to try to the parts under 30 minutes long. Oh, I went shit. a little overboard on part one, but I, I don't think you did. to show you guys well, what the first remember. half hour of the game was like. You got the Sonic you shirt. You literally spent 30 minutes playing Sonic 06. I got a classic Sonic shirt, but I'm ashamed to wear it for what the fans have done what to the franchise. What makes Sonic 06 so disappointing to so many huh. people is the idea that this game had the potential to be the best 3D Sonic it game did, in the It did, man. Series, I had high hopes for it. Or at least the most decent it. one since the Sonic Adventure games. Aside from the realistic look of the game, it didn't have a gimmick. It wasn't centered around three-person gameplay, or guns, or airboards, <sighs> or any of that crap. It was a new Sonic game that seemed to have that legitimate X-Factor again. I never played again. this one, by the way. The story looked like it might have actually been good. It was supposed to celebrate the 15th anniversary yeah, it of was. Sonic. That, their the was graphics make it good. made it feel special and new. Out of place, but special and new. And hell, they were actually Damn. pulling out all the stops for the CGI intro movie and even the voice cast. It looked like Final I mean, Fantasy. they still had the four kids voice actors again, but for the role of Princess Elise, they actually got some outside talent. In oh. Sonic the Hedgehog for Next Gen, Sonic interacts with the human world for the first time. Sonic. Uh, yeah, Sonic Adventure Princess 1. Elise. You're full of Voiced shit there. Longtime Sonic fan, Lacey Chabert. That's her. I didn't know that. You may have seen Lacey Chabert in stuff like Mean Girls, Lost in Space, the first season of Family Guy. Oh, I didn't the know Wild that. Thornberry. I, I remember et that show. I'll Before. always remember her from the spoof movie, Not Another Teen Movie. I oh, see that. Some kind of cheap slut. I don't screw every pathetic guy that gives me a letter. Oh, I give them hand jobs. Wow. Finally. But yeah, she's in movies and stuff, and they got her to play Princess Elise. Wow. I remember the first thing I bought with like my allowance. I saved it all Didn't up. Didn't know where. The, um, the whole time. Gear system, and I bought Sonic, and I played it until the buttons broke off. I loved it. When I first saw it, I really thought that it looked more like a movie than it did a video game. I've never seen anything like Man, it. The game I play flops. a lot of video games. I have four nephews. I and have I've never seen anything it. quite as dramatic, and the graphics are absolutely incredible. And you feel like it's live action, like you're almost watching people. Oh, poor been good. Lacey. Do you think she played this game with her nephews? I mean, could you now imagine? That... She actually used to play Sonic when she was younger. Oh, then she, she did. got to be the voice in a Sonic title that looked like it was going to be great. And then I'm sure she played this with her nephews, and after rage quitting the goddamn mock speed sections and realizing the game doesn't autosave until you actually clear yeah, an action stage, piece of shit. she probably face palmed and told her nephews, I swear Sonic used to be good. I know that it's a really special game. She might have raised your big time, though. But this is the 15th anniversary game. <laughs> it had promise, sure. And people will say that the game was rushed, and therefore it wasn't Sonic Team's fault the game sucked. They did kind of rush it for it. Sega wanted the game released in 2006. Fuck it's the idiots. 15th anniversary, after all. The game wasn't ready, but Sega stuck to the deadline. So yep, they didn't have enough time to fix what was broken. Instead of chicken salad, you got chicken shit. Today. But I would like to bring attention to two things that I feel needs to be said. Number right. one, the development history isn't important to my review. I'm not giving mercy points over the politics behind the game. Whether it was rushed or not isn't important. They sold this in stores for yeah. 60 bucks, and people no, like me had it. a terrible time playing it. Unlike Sonic Genesis, I didn't have those there is no like you fixed did, or better version of this game anywhere, and it is a part of Sonic history <laughs> to now. To be honest, I actually I'm enjoyed it when I played what it. <laughs> been, I'm reviewing what it is. And number two, Shit. Sonic Team might have been able to get it done on time if they didn't waste our fucking time with things no one wanted to play. Uh. So by now, you know the game has three stories. 
Sonics, Shadows, and Silver. Sonic and Shadow but what some of you might ones. not know is that there were so many different gameplay elements to this thing that I have to imagine programming it was a nightmare. You know how Project many playable 06. characters there are? Well, there's the four we know. And Knuckles. And he, Rouge. Yeah, he plays hard a little bit. And he and Amy Rose. Ugh. And they even brought in Blaze from Sonic Rush. Just for a cup of That's coffee. That's right. Nine playable characters. Nine gameplay mechanics. Better. Well, ten if you count the sections where Sonic is on a snowboard. Eleven no. if you count when he's carrying Princess no, Elise and gets count. new abilities. Actually, I hate 12 that if you count the mock speed sections. No, that's just oh, something wait, else. 13, because I forgot all about Shadow using the hang glider <laughs> to fly around in certain levels. Actually, uh, if I, I count all that. of Shadow's vehicles, the buggy, the hovercraft, and the motorcycle, <laughs> why, that's 16! That's right, over 16 <laughs> different gameplay he elements don't need a that motorcycle, Sonic Team period. had to work on. Do you think that was overkill? They I would have go loved all out. to have been in that Sonic Team conference room when someone pitched the idea of putting all of these characters in the game. How in the hell would you decide that was a good idea? Now we don't get many. It's just one person. In any way, shape, or form. I have never taken a video game design class, we'll and I wouldn't oh, yeah. know the first thing about designing one. I'm not an expert. I admit that. Just but even everybody's I favorites can look at this clusterfuck of a game and realize you were doomed from the start when you gave the A-OK -okay on all <laughs> this shit. How many gameplay styles were in Sonic Adventure 1? Six. And most of the storylines in that game were pretty freaking short. Big the short. Cat should have never happened. I can't begin to tell you how many people didn't like playing as Big the Cat or as Amy Rose. I hate both of them. But at least they them. didn't have a big chunk of gameplay. At least then, games were slightly easier to make because you weren't dealing with the graphics powerhouse of an <sighs> Xbox 360. Then Sonic Adventure Sonic 2 Sonic is Goku, around. Shadow is they Vegeta. They had three gameplay styles. Well, four if you count the cartoons. I don't like playing his tails. Two of those. Then Sonic Heroes came, and despite its huge 12 playable character roster, oh, there was really only one gameplay style. There was more for improvement. I mean, there are some differences, like the fact that Big can belly flop and Team Dark. Yeah, he hangs around little girls and his blast, bullfrog. But it was essentially the same. Then Shadow the Hedgehog, oh. you have one again. Well, also the vehicles. Do you know uh, how much effort it takes to design all the things they did for that's 06? So fucking character terrible. models, character animations, victory animations? They chose to design the levels around these gimmicks. We Shit. need hang gliding areas for Shadow? Well then, big open cave section and wave We can just motion. run through this. Silver's Dusty Desert is different from Sonic's. Sonic's Silver Kingdom Valley is different from Shadow's. What the fuck were they thinking? Someone over there more than likely got fired for saying, Oh no, we can handle all this. It's alright. What games and have they been playing where having more than 10 different gameplay styles wasn't a disaster waiting to happen? Should no one wanted to play as Omega. Only. Knuckles is supposed to be guarding the Master Emerald. Why is he here? And instead of yeah, polishing all these characters to make sure they play right, they designed <laughs> over 50. Yes, I said... 50 town missions all over Soliana that over 90% of the audience never played. And they didn't think Why? it's fun either. Because of the fucking obnoxious load times! You're always guaranteed four load times when you do a town Fuck mission. Fuck those load times. And you know, I'd rather continue with the story. When's Not Project 06 gonna be finished? Dog walking mission. Completely like oh, everything. Oh, great mission! I have to find a dog and slowly walk it to this kid in town. That's Pele, stupid. the beloved dog. Pick up oh, the dog. Oh, this is riveting! When I think of and all the run. highlights that Sonic has had throughout its history, the fight with Metal Sonic, being chased by the gun truck, yeah, walking cool. a dog! Wow! <laughs> and yeah. how surreal is it for Sonic to be walking a real dog? He's not even like a colorful anthropomorphic dog, he's like a real one! Why in the Sonic universe are there giant <sighs> purple cats, but regular <laughs> dogs? How does that even make sense? Uh, all of these town missions are lame, it just and none of them are fun to play at all. Anyone play that awkward silver mission where you have to use his psychic powers to pick up apples and place them in baskets? I did not play well, that. Well, it sucks. You actually have to try maneuvering the apples by hovering them over That's the stupid, baskets though. and turning off your psychic power in the hopes that they'll just drop in. If you pick one up and fling it with the attack button, they just bounce off the side of the That's basket stupid. and don't count as going in. They the done camera's a better job. terrible, and you can't move objects you're holding in any particular direction. All they do is hover in front of you. 
I'll go into better detail on why Silver's gameplay isn't him. fun to play either. But yeah, terrible town mission. How about the one where Sonic has to play hide and seek with five kids in the town? The gigantic Soliana town, where no. the damn kids could be hiding in alleyways that are easy to miss. You have a five minute time limit, and you're going to learn the hard you way what's really easy terrible here. about these town missions what's if you house? actually fail them. Instead of asking you if you would like to retry them, and just starting it no. up again, it loads a failure text box. Come then on, it loads Sega. you back to town. They're always so letting us down now. you can ask now. to do the mission again. Okay, this needs to be addressed right now. The load times are Why are you playing today. Silver Believe Surfer music not, in the background? Some games can that be ruined game. by loading screens. Even if your game is good, <laughs> if I have to sit through ungodly periods of waiting around and doing nothing, you have effectively destroyed my interest in wanting to keep playing. I once yep. babysat a little but girl. But I kept playing. I had a strategy guide though on the Nintendo GameCube. The game was a 2D Echo the Dolphin type game separated in Never level form. Never played it. Don't I care. I played three levels and gave up playing after those three. Fish and the girl I babysat actually said she didn't like the game because it's so boring. Y Why? Yeah. The load times. No, Seriously, you're playing as a fish. They were more than a minute long. If you a play as Jaws now, it might be a lot better. Clown fish swimming around in water. I made it to the fourth level and gave up. That loading time sucks, ridiculous. though. Want another example of a game being ruined by load times? Okay, how about Mega Man X7? Mega Man X7 was considered a pretty bad Mega Man X game on the PlayStation 2. Not only because it's the game was sitting. pretty bland to play, but also because of the fucking load times. <laughs> the final level is broken off into so many sections, each of which requires a giant load time. And eventually, when you get to the end, they have a traditional Mega Man boss rush. A oh. boss rush! Meaning, when you go to the teleporter room, it loads. When you have to the first Maverick, it loads back. After the first Maverick fight, it loads to go back to the fucking hub room, and then it, you have to go to the next Maverick, and it loads, and it loads, and it loads, <laughs> and it loads, and X7 is just impossible to replay. You I don't can't really go back feels to the final level after them. beating it, because it's just such a tedious chore to go through. Good God! Sonic 06 will make you sit through an hour and a half of load times just playing through this main Fuck story mode. This shit. Levels are literally separated into sections by frequent load times. <laughs> Many people You're going on about the load Christ times City a lot. The best level in That's the game. pretty much the main it's problem. Still shit. And a few glitches. But if you actually like playing it, few, guess what you have to endure every time you replay it as Sonic? Load. Four load times. One to load the snowboarding part, one to load the platforming part, one to load the tornado area, and one oh. to load the mock speed section at the end. I hated Doesn't this seem like place. that big of a problem? Okay, that then let's part. sit through all that, why don't we? No. No, don't do... Just, it's come back. Say something. Why am I the only one? Okay. You're just showing us the damn loading screen. Yeah, it does take this long. Uh... <sighs> Sometimes does that too. Why? Why did they leave that in the... Oh boy. Are you there? You're still there, aren't you? Seriously, man? <laughs> Come on. Okay, now you're just torturing me. And torturing everybody else. That no one wants to see this. It's like, if you're going to go down, you want to take everybody else down with you. Seriously? Come on, man. You could have said something. I'm sorry. Something. Did I oh. ruin the review by interrupting my discussion with this giant space of nothing? <laughs> you almost did, Too bad. Man. That's the game. Some oh. of the town missions are I indeed mandatory. I didn't think he was mandatory. coming back, to be honest. Right before Kingdom Valley, you have to do three trials of Soliana. And again, the town missions all suck. The first one is an annoying level where you have oh. to navigate all tons of portals which warp you to different no. parts of the area. I, I didn't You're play just that going one. through repeated trial and error to find the goal ring. It's like Sabrina's gym in Pokemon, Ugh. only it sucks. In the third town mission, I do all you do that. is pick someone to talk to. Say yes, and you get an easy S rank. I'll explain what's up with that mission when I start uh, yeah, talking about who the do story. You want? The second mission was That's my personal stupid. least favorite. Why? It's a mission where you have to kill every single robot without getting hit. If you oh, get hit, yeah. it loads your failure message, then it loads the hub area all over again, and you begin the process I hate new. this shit. Town missions will always guarantee you four load times. Again, text box, actual mission, 
results screen, and taking it's you back. It's all load screens, With ma'am. three trials of Soliana, that means a total of 12 load times. That's pure torture. And if you torture. fail a mission, then you have to undergo another four. So if I screwed up Suck the second dick. trial, my bump goes from 12 loading screens to 16 loading screens. Oh, fuck. A single failure means That's you have to much. undergo four more loading screens. Seriously, how the hell did everything go so wrong? Why the fuck Sega, is the first loading screen the for a text box? They could have easily coded the game to just skip to the second load screen <laughs> where it actually loads the level and just save the audience the a ton of frustration. Man. Why, when you fail these terrible missions, isn't there a retry mission option? This is common fucking sense, well, fail, people! And as beginning. I covered at the end of part one, the game does not autosave. Now, when you actually that is a major, a major flaw. Not a town mission. It asks you if you want to save, and most people will push A and keep pushing through, and the game will save their progress. At that point, don't when you play die, this game, folks. Spawn play the, after the last Project level. 06 that they're working on the when it comes out finally. All of it. Until of fucking real. Kingdom Valley, and it's really why I'm talking about the load times right now and why they are a serious problem. Kingdom yeah. Valley, as well, has four load screens. One Ugh, for Sonic's first I don't part, remember that. one where you have to take control of Silver. Yeah, oh, yeah you play as part. Silver in the Sonic storyline. And that was actually my first time playing as him, because, you know, I wanted to finish Sonic first. Imagine my surprise getting used yeah, to a completely I... different gameplay style in and the middle of a level. It? One of the hardest levels in the game, in fact. But it loads another Sonic part, this, and uh, guess stuff what runs it loads fast. next? A max speed section! Oh, goody! No, I This hate level this. goes on forever. Ugh. If you know what you're doing, eh, let's say nine I've gotten minutes. killed so many times. If you don't, and you're playing it for the first time, and getting used to silver, and bouncing off the ropes and everything... Exciting, I played it ma'am. for almost 20 minutes. I had two lives left, and yep. the fucking mock speed section caught me off guard. And got you I killed. died. Game over. Same it here, first time. It kicks you to the main menu, doesn't let you retry the level. Just back you go. You and I was angry just because I played that particular level for 20 minutes. And I didn't want to do it again. But I still pushed forward. I still got this and game too for PS3. The trials didn't autosave. Oh. I would have to go through all the bullshit all over again. Oh my god. All 12 load times. It's Possibly been more since I if I failed this. the second trial again. This was like so almost an hour things. of gameplay just from the trials to finishing Kingdom Valley alone. I want to forget everything. I remember distinctly staring at the TV, just in utter shock. Like I couldn't believe it. I couldn't stand the idea of playing another 45 minutes to finish Kingdom Valley. I got up, yeah. went downstairs, watched some TV, and that's I didn't play the, the game best for thing. another 24 hours. I was so Just 24 angry. hours, that's not long I enough. I screamed no when I saw I had to do the trials again. <laughs> I literally screamed no because I couldn't believe it. It's programming to us to finish to it. save the game after the trials? Maybe. But the game really was jumping from level to level at this point. And it never occurred to me. It came from Because every hell. 3D Sonic game before 06 has auto-saved. Every regular video game it has auto-saved your progress. Why does it kick you to the main menu? Why, Why doesn't tails? it just let me retry? These are simple mechanics. Why are these damn levels so long? Why aren't they split up into mini levels? Hell, That's you the know creators what? Of I this. think the mock speed sections should have been their own levels. Either way, fuck the load times and fuck uh, the incompetent design. Look at that. That was one case of mandatory town missions being awful. The others are mostly optional though, Give a and no one will play them because they're all terrible. There's actually a mission where you have to please a mathematician guy by smashing numbered boxes. Oh, that's He stupid. tells you like seven or so different questions, and so much just basic memorization. Like he tells you a group of numbers and says you have to smash the boxes in the order, he said. And you can even Shadow talk to would him not in be the doing middle this. of it to re-ask him what the numbers were, so it's not even memorization. It's just like going back that's to him so and saying, dumb. Oh, sorry, what was the number again? And boom. <laughs> Or in another question, he'll say that you have to subtract the second oh, number from the fourth number in the list. I hate my F. We're doing math problems. Fuck Sonic that. the Hedgehog. Oh, an absolute worst thing about this mission? Every single fucking <laughs> question has its own load times. No, Jesus. yeah, that's right. Don't accuse me of not having enough patience. This is an I don't endurance have patience test. For this, shit. this game tests your patience like no and other game And I didn't game even go can. through this. In another town mission, you run into Sonic Man. What the 
fuck. That's dumb as shit. A guy who cosplays as Sonic and challenges you to a race to prove that he is the real Sonic and no one can outrun him. What? And the this heck? mission is a cakewalk because he's a okay, slow, he doing an really silly run and human, and we're Sonic's the fastest thing alive, too, and nothing can stop it. Oh, hey! What the hell? Why are there spikes there? He wants to kill you. No! <laughs> Damn, man. Not more loading. I hit some spikes. In the Sonic Man race, you might as well I mean, call it quits. On. There's somebody back there in the Let closet. Me some slack. Why do I have to sit through more loading for this? I don't know, man. I could uh, go into every uh, single town mission the game has to offer. I hate but playing honestly, as Amy Rose. There's nothing to say. They what designed over 50 of these things. That stupid hammer. You know what's sad? Most of them are just missions where you kill more robots and Iblis monsters. The stuff that you're already killing in the regular levels. No. This is supposed to be the side activities, the extra stuff when you're really bored, this and yet all you're doing is avoid. more of the same repetitive shit. Or walking a dog. Who no. cares about any of this? They had to spend time on this. I they had to take time it. away from fixing really obvious glitches that needed that to be fixed to so they could bore us with math equations. What a waste! Somebody you know what else they spent slapped. time designing for no reason whatsoever? A second wave ocean level for Sonic Storyline. I can understand redoing the levels for Shadow or Silver Ooh, Stories, look how but slow why Tails is. Sonic again? There's literally a level where you play as Tails uh, and you redo Wave Ocean from start to finish, only as Tails. His and it has spin. minor differences because Tails doesn't wall jump or water surf, so the he design is different to be Tails centric. Something. But this level has no reason to exist. It adds nothing to the story. We played as Tails in the original Wave Ocean level. Look at this Why did shit. they bother designing it? Fucking Who pussy. scripted this game? How did this happen? Oh, and besides making three or four different versions of each level for the storyline, they She's also fast. bothered to make a multiplayer mode for this game. I bet I half of you didn't yet. even know that, huh? You've probably heard lots of stories of 06 being a terrible game, or seen Ugh. some YouTube playthroughs, sure, but most people actually gloss over the fact that they bothered to design multiplayer versions well, of every drop. level so you and a friend it. could have a boring, unsatisfying time together. In fact, they designed two versions of every level for multiplayer other because the game has as. a tag battle where you have to team up with the person you're playing with to successfully clear the level, and one where you're racing against them. <laughs> this game didn't need multiplayer. What Maybe a waste of mode. development. It's so broken, too. When you do the co-op missions, you generally team up by pushing switches together to bring down a laser gate. Dumb. Oh, it's teamwork, right? Well, here's the problem. Most of the time, Silver can just ground pound the switches because they're right next to each other and Where's deactivate Silver? the laser gate all by himself. You know what else he can do? He can pick up Sonic or Shadow in the multiplayer with his psychic powers. Wow, I didn't know so if that. he's trying to kill all the enemies surrounding him and you just happen to be near him, <laughs> you're going to get caught and he's going to fling you into the fucking wall. Get wow, over, great co-op. The multiplayer is lame because Sonic, Shadow, and Silver are three characters who are drastically different in terms of speed, yes, ability, and, Shadow, and the speed guys. If you're going to do an action race, you have no reason to play as Silver because he runs like a snail. Blaze? Who the hell made Silver run like a snail? Either way, there's nothing to say about multiplayer. It's there. I guess it's better and than it's Shadow shit. and Hedgehogs, but it's so pointless and it doesn't hold a candle to Sonic Adventure 2's. It was a waste of time because the characters and levels are all your badly time designed, playing this, and maybe man. they could have been a little better before November rolled around if they didn't bother everyone. designing things that didn't need to be in the game in the first place. Anyway, I just wanted to show you all of the side extras that this game had to offer. In part three, we're going to be analyzing all the gameplay styles. Oh God, it's going to be a part three this has, shit. Talking about why oh, yeah, every single say character was... and every single mode is unbearable to play. Damn. And now, Miles Tails Prower reviews Sonic 06. No! This is terrible! This has been Miles Tails Prower reviewing Sonic <laughs> 06. Okay, that's all he said. Alright, that's enough. So there you go, everyone. If y'all want to watch the original video, the link is in the description. Go check it out and shit. I'm getting the fuck out here, so yeah, yeah. My name is Billy Bob Tanley, and I approve this message.